Okay, it is 1127. We have made it officially to Faro. The journey was five hours, I think. I don't know, it was pretty easy. I was asleep the whole time, pretty much. Train was pretty comfortable. So yeah, so we're about to head to our accommodation, but that's what we've got going on right now. And I promise I'm gonna find somewhere to get me a memory card today so I can be back on my camera. Yeah. As we checked into our Airbnb, we noticed that it actually seemed like a hotel but I promise it wasn't a hotel. We found this on the Airbnb website. Uh, but as you can see, it was a nice bright room. I liked the natural light that was coming in and I also liked the separation of like the little kitchenette and mini living room and also our view of basically the main street there in Faro. You can see we had enough room, even though we were only there for two days, we had more than enough room and the bathroom was nice and clean so I really enjoyed this accommodation and everything it had to offer so that is the apartment it was like a 10 minute walk from the train station so I walked <laughs> I know they want to walk <laughs> she Uber it's currently 11:49, so we're gonna go see where we can get something for lunch and then figure out what else is going on for today but so far Faro seems really cute the weather's nice sunny um so yeah definitely gonna explore and see what we got going on Oh my gosh, guess who's back? <laughs> guess who's back? So sorry that, you know, I could not film on my camera earlier, but I literally went around, since we're in Faro, I went around to the grocery store to grab a couple of waters, and then I walked around to see if I could find like a souvenir shop because I was like, I know I'm not the only one who's run out of memory on their camera on vacation. And I didn't see it at the souvenir shop, but right across from the souvenir shop was a photo shop. So, photo shop. Camera shop, not like changing pictures. <laughs> so, I got a 64 gigabyte memory card. So, I now have two 64 gigabyte memory cards and that was 15 euros. So, not that bad. Um, so, we are back. We are back on the cam. Sorry for earlier. You know, it is what it is, but we back. We back. So... Um, we about to get ready. Well, Anil really is about to get ready. I'm ready um, so that we can head to lunch and then see what else we got going on today. But we're back. We are here, we are here for lunch outside because the weather is very nice and formidable. So yeah, glad to have my camera back. <laughs> I'm trying the um, white wine. So we know they like casa. You like it or not? It's a little bubbly. Uh. It's a little bubbly. Interesting. It's like, I don't know. It's mildly Riesling. carbonated. Reminds me of Riesling. Everything good reminds me of Riesling. Yeah, I well, could yeah. say Riesling. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you. This is the mozzarella garlic bread that looks like a calzone. <laughs> okay, this is the best angle I got, but you, you see it. You see it. It smells really garlicky. You see the cheese? Mm. Mm. I like it. Peter bread, right? I mean, yeah. Then it's really garlicky, so. So I got um, spaghetti Diablo, which was cooked in the oven you see the cheese on top did you get carbonara mm -hmm. authentic okay, so. it looks very hot it said it had like mushroom and pineapple which i thought was really interesting so it tastes really good like spicy spaghetti with meat you taste it The sun is facing the wrong way, but look, 
We found the Faro sign. So we're over here by the pier and we're exploring. Even though Faro is quite a small coastal city in Portugal, there was still a lot to see. So we wanted to explore. You see they had a lot of marine art. And we thought that these were beaches originally, but I don't think that these were beaches, maybe marshes, but what I thought was cool was the train passed right by this area. Because as you see, there's no sand. It's just a bridge basically over the water. So that's why I thought maybe it was a marsh, but it was still really, really gorgeous views. The temperature was amazing, probably like 55 degrees, so not too cold and just a slight you know breeze of wind to make it feel all beachy so we just walked around and explored and see what all this quaint town had to offer we're just out here in faro exploring the city enjoying the weather having fun so yeah that's all we're doing literally just walking around being tourists <laughs> something i'd like to note throughout our exploration of the cute little town of Faro was that there are a lot of arches around the town and a lot of them are really well preserved. So a lot of the history of the city of Faro from I think the 1600s, maybe even earlier, you can see a lot of that history still in the city, which I find to be pretty cool and we were just walking around and when you're walking around in Europe usually you stumble upon a cathedral or two and we also stumbled upon these orange trees so we had a blast learning about what's around the city and honestly just being a tourist and there's the cathedral right there <laughs> shake it <laughs> not you not you thought <laughs> go ahead she hulk <laughs> <laughs> she won't even move. I'm screaming. <laughs> this is definitely going on the vlog. <laughs> Valiant effort, though. Unfortunately, everything can't be preserved, so that's some old construction that they were taking down. But as we kept exploring and walking through the city, we found other viewpoints and how people did sunset river cruises. So it was very interesting. And of course, I found a rooftop as we were walking around. So I said, hey, let's check out this rooftop bar for sunset and grab a couple drinks. So that's what we did. So we found a rooftop bar. So those are the views that you just got of the city of Faro. Um, we are here at Hotel Faro at their rooftop bar. So we're gonna get a drink or two and just honestly enjoy the sunset. So yeah. Good evening. It is 8.26 p.m. We are walking to dinner. It's literally a three to four minute walk from our accommodation. So we are heading to dinner right now for um, some traditional Portuguese seafood. So very excited because if you know me, you know I love seafood. The weather here is quite mild right now. It's not really cold. It's a light breeze, but um, very, very, very good weather. So yeah.
Here we are. We're trying. The Sauvignon Blanc. Clean, crisp. Not sour. It'll go. Yeah, it will. to try the oysters. No, it's like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're big too and meaty. I put um lemon juice and hot sauce. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah. I got um, tuna, shrimp, and clam. Yes, thank you so much. And this is her full crab. Right. So here we are. We're going to try the tuna. This is the tuna, so it literally looks like steak. Oh my gosh. It like melts in your mouth. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. It tastes so barbecued and like very flavorful. Here's a clam. I keep dropping the sauce, so here's the clam. That broth is like butter, garlic, maybe a little bit of white wine, and last the shrimp. It's so creamy. And the cilantro on top. Alright. <laughs> so dinner uh, was really, really good. I am just stuffed and exhausted. So it is bedtime for me, the old lady. Um, yeah, and I will see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> I would like to get some rest. Hello and good morning. It is Friday, Friday? I know it's December 30th, but I think, I think it's Friday, December 30th. Um, it is 8.58 a.m., so almost 9 a.m. Um, as you see, I'm doing my morning intro from the hallway of the hotel today um, because I would like to head out for breakfast, but Anel wants to get some extra sleep, and I don't blame her. You know, I really don't. But she snore bad, so I did not sleep good. So since I'm up, I might as well go get me something to eat. So the restaurant or cafe where I'm going to eat is literally a stone's throw away from the hotel as you'll see on this video. Um, today we are heading to like a national park here in Faro to do a Segway tour and a like seafood lunch. So obviously a lot of seafood here as you saw last night, so excited for more of that. Um, but our trip is winding down. Today is our last day in Faro, and then tomorrow we head back on the train to head to Lisbon for New Year's Eve, and we fly out on January 1st. So Portugal has really been amazing so far, um, and I'm looking forward to see what else we get into, but I can't believe it. A week has almost already passed. Um, so yeah, let's go to breakfast. So I ordered an omelet and I got this carrot, mango, and orange juice. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> there it is. Yummy. I don't think I got anything in the omelet, just literally an omelet. <laughs> It's good. It's really good, yeah. 
We have arrived here at the park. It is 10.05. I want to say the Uber was probably like maybe 15 minutes, maybe a little less. Um, but we're here at Parque Natural Ria Formosa. Um, so that's where we're going to do the Segway tour for today. I think we are the first ones from the group to arrive maybe. Don't really know, but we're here where they told us to be. So yeah, I'll just show you what it looks like. Segway van has arrived. It is 10.09, so yeah. It's just us on the tour, so. So, the machine works with your body down inside. That's mine. I look funny with this helmet on top of my bun, but. <laughs> We're doing the things. But yeah, it's just me and Anel on the tour today. So yeah, I'm about to I'm about to get on it. She got me nervous now because she up there. She got me nervous. So let me let me get myself together. It's me on the Segway. <laughs> it's fun. Shout out to the tour guide for filming me. What is your name? Andre. Andre, yes, I recall. <laughs> See, we're in a lovely area, very expensive. What is it called? It's called Quinta del Lago. Quinta del Lago. The most expensive area in Portugal. Yes, listen, listen to Andre. He has the keys. Here they are. We came from that way. And now we're going to Wax Resto Bar for lunch. So, seafood, seafood. My feet feel really weird. <laughs> Here is the most handsome tour guide. <laughs> you have to say the, the most handsome tour guide. Yes. <laughs> He's like, I'm here. <laughs> oh. We found on Get Your Guide this whole day Segway tour situation. So the Segway tour was the first part of the day for about two hours. And included in the tour was a seafood lunch. So we really got to enjoy the views at this cafe, some sun, hear the waves, and also enjoy all the fresh seafood that Faro had to offer. And I'm glad it was a private tour because who wanted to share all of this seafood? So obviously Anel doesn't like raw oysters. I ate those, but we ate literally everything else it was amazing so fresh as you can see we demolished everything and loved our experience so we are back from our um segway tour earlier this morning and our seafood lunch it's a little after two o'clock right now it's about 205 206 we're about to head to some museum i think the municipal museum see some you know history um and then see what else is in that area because I think there was like a bridge and a garden. So um, yeah, that's what we're about to go do right now. That's exciting. The museum is free. So y'all know I love a good free museum. So we're going to check it out. So come along. I was actually quite surprised by Faro's Municipal Museum because 
The city itself is quite small and I felt as though the museum was actually quite large and there were a lot of different exhibits, exhibits that are there permanently and also exhibits that are there temporarily, as well as just a lot of different cultural elements from the coast of Portugal, that area is called Algarve, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, but also just Portuguese culture in general. So there was a lot to see and a lot to do, especially for this to be a free viewing. So just sit back and enjoy everything that we got to see and enjoy while we were at Faro's Municipal Museum. So we just finished at the Municipal Museum of Faro. I think it was very nice. I think we're probably there maybe like 45 minutes. Um, but I think it was really nice to see some of the history of Portugal and some of their historical art, um, especially for free. We love free. Um, so I definitely recommend if you like museums, older things, you should definitely check it out while you're here. I don't know what we're doing next. so. Y'all know me, it does not matter where I am at, how big or how small, I will find me an aquarium or ecological museum um, because I love aquatic life. So Anel didn't want to come, but it's okay. Um, the student price uh, was normally three euro, but they had a little 20% off sale because they said a couple exhibits aren't working or something. So it was 250 euro to get in. So I thought it wasn't bad to check it out. So let's see what they got. As I got to walk around and explore the aquarium, I did notice that it probably was an environment that was more suited for kids or people who had kids because this definitely gave me Discovery Place vibes. If you're from Charlotte, North Carolina, you know what I mean. But I still had a good time exploring and, you know, it releasing my inner child and just letting go. And I also got to touch some cool animals. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, that feels so weird. Oh, that feels so weird. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, what does it feel like before I do this? <laughs> this one's more squishy. Squishy? Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. What is it? It's a sea cucumber. Sea cucumber. Oh, I've seen these in Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh. Hey, are you in a little crossing? Yeah. If you go diving, like, um. Yeah. I don't remember the animal crossing, but I'll check later. It's the top? Yeah. The sea urchin? Yeah. 
I can't let see you come around. Oh, I see. Yeah. And this inside the nest because. Let's see for the protection of the eggs. Oh, oh he's upset. Look at him. He's always upset. About oh. Wow. And each one of these little balls is an egg of the fish. There you go. So it was a very short and sweet exhibit, but for 250 euro, I think it was really, really cute just to see and touch the little, y'all saw, oh my gosh, I know my hands shake, but I was nervous because the stuff felt slimy and prickly, but I just like to try new stuff and push myself out of my comfort zone. And as a reward, the lady told me that they have a little um, upstairs like bar. So we finna see what it's hitting on. It's a little after four now. We're back at the room. We do have a dinner reservation tonight at the Polish restaurant for 8.30. It's around the corner from here. Everything's basically walking distance that's in this area of the city. Um, but probably gonna just chill and relax until then. So charge my camera, lay down, and I will see y'all at dinner time. Hello, good evening. It is 8.18 p.m. So everybody's well rested, ready for Din Din. So I believe I mentioned earlier, but we're going to the Polish restaurant. Pretty sure it's like a five minute, if that walk away from where we're staying. So we're about to head out in a second um, and see what we're gonna do for dinner. Or have, see what we're gonna have for dinner because we know what we're gonna do for dinner. <laughs> we're going to the Polish restaurant, but you get it, you get it, so. I was going to get an appetizer, but the appetizer I wanted, which was the oysters, they did not have today, so I was sad, but we're going to try the gnocchi. It's good. Yeah. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> As you can see, we are actively trying to get life together. It is officially December 31st, so it's the end of the year. We have made it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It is 7.55 right now. Our train is at 8.22, I believe. So we're about to call the Uber. Um, probably a five minute drive, if that, to the train station. Faro is pretty small. Then we're gonna catch the train to Lisbon Oriente, the same station that um, we caught the first time because we went from Lisbon to Porto to Faro. Now we're going back to Lisbon. I believe it's like a three hour journey. So yeah, definitely running on like two, maybe, maybe two hours of sleep at best, but it's okay. We keep moving. We had fun last night, um, but you know, now we're paying for it just a bit. So yeah, <laughs> see you in a bit. I am out of breath, but we made it. We are here because we literally had to practically run for the train because the Uber literally drove right past us and decided not to pick us up. Um, luckily the walk was like eight minutes from the Airbnb, but we're here, we're on the train. So we have three hours to Lisbon. I will see you all in Lisbon. 